Hi, welcome back to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk about how to completely change out an arcade game monitor. Our example here today is my very first main machine, or prototype if you will, that we made. We're going to upgrade it and put a brand, uh, a newer style monitor in there. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, I've already unhooked the power going to the chassis board and the wiring coming up so there's currently no wiring in the back attached to this monitor so we want to be able to pull it out really clean so all games are different we understand that but the first thing you're going to have to do is either to remove your control panel or as in this case in my main machine we loosened it up so that we could get the uh, bezel out of here a lot of times this will be glass so be careful when you do that uh, also can be quite heavy if it's a piece of glass or even a piece of plexiglass just be careful when you're removing this anyway I'm going to just pop mine out of here remove the glass and now depending on what you want to do if you just want to remove the tube there are four bolts holding in the tube most of the time though you're going to remove the frame and everything because the new monitor already is in its frame uh, occasionally the new frame won't fit and so sometimes you have to take out the tube we want to avoid that if at all possible so mine is uh, held in there by some screws they're holding the main frame on so the tube right here you guys can see is going to stay attached to the frame. I'm just going to remove the frame from the cabinet. That'll make it a little easier getting it out and putting a new one in. Now a couple things that's really good about my cabinet is that it's actually resting on a piece of wood and even without the screws it sits in there. Not all games are like that so you need to have somebody helping you do this or around. Sometimes we have to literally hold it almost while the other person takes out the screws. Now in mine, because of that fact, they didn't have carriage bolts through there. It was probably a good idea when we redo this to go ahead and put a thicker, nicer bolt. Just drill a few holes, put that in there to secure it. But chances are it'll never come out even with just some wood screws. Also, you might notice that mine has a side panel here. I might can get this monitor out without it, but it sure is going to be a lot easier if I remove it. So real quickly, I'm just going to take my screw drill and remove this side panel at least one side and that'll make it easier for me to get to pull the monitor out the more room that you can have the better once that side panel is removed that gives me that much more thickness to maneuver in here okay we're going to coordinate this Jonathan, if you'll give it a push. You ready? Yeah. Got that side. There we go. One question we get asked a lot is, how do you know how big your tube is? And I want to make sure that my new tube is the same size. Even a little bit smaller would be okay. But if it's any bigger, it's not going to fit in that cabinet. So you're going to measure diagonally across here. And that's 27 inches. You take into consideration that there's a black line around this. So actually the inner part of the tube is just 25. So this is not a 27 inch monitor, even though it's 27 inches around there. If you look real close, we'll get a close up shot of this. From the very inner part of the tube to the other inner part, it's 25 inches, so I need a 25 inch monitor to go in there.
Okay, as you can see, this was a great two-person job. It took one of us in the front, one of us in the back. Uh, the bars coming out of the back of the game didn't quite line up. It took us a little bit of maneuvering. And then centering, we want to make sure that this is centered on both edges. It looks like we did a pretty good job. We finally took us a couple turns. It is a little low on this corner. When we go to screw the bolts in, we can move that up or hold that up and do that at that time. But anyway, as you can see, it's, it's in there. And uh, so once the, it's in there, just a few bolts to hold it down, we'll be done. Now, instead of putting those just screws that they had in there, I'm going to put a carriage bolt in. We won't have to worry about this again. Now we're just going to tighten the nuts, put a washer on the back side, you could put a washer on the front side if you needed to, now we're just going to tighten the nuts on the back, make sure this monitor is good and in there, won't ever come out. Okay, first problem that we've encountered, which is not a big problem, but pretty common issue is that the connector going from my old setup to my monitor is a little bit different. This is the old one. As we can see, it has red, green, blue, ground. Then it skips the spaces and has a separate one for the sink way over here. This is the newer monitor's plug that came with it. As you can see, it's only one connector. It has red, green, blue, ground, and then your horizontal and your vertical sink here. So, what I'm going to do is basically combine these two connectors and make this, this new connector hook it up with my old one. Maybe it will make more sense in a minute as we do it. Just watch. <laughs> 